I refuse to let this go until we cut it. <laughs> Why me? Little did you know you were the one being surprised. I knew something was suspect. You're like, why don't you go cut the cake? <laughs> What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the first full day of eating of 2023 and the first full day of eating in preparation for Olympia title number five. I just got back from Aspen, didn't eat very well, didn't train very much there. My bicep is finally at the extended period of time I was supposed to wait to get it healed. I've done my stem cell, my peptides, everything to heal it. So I'm back into working out and training, trying to eat more and just get my life back together. Currently 250 pounds, so I'm only 10 pounds up from stage weight, but higher body fat, probably some less muscle from not working out. But I've been working out in the mornings for whatever reason. So I just trained shoulders and a bit of triceps fasted. I literally just have coffee, some element sea salt, chocolate sea salt, like electrolytes in it, and then two scoops of EAAs, and then go to the gym and train. I'm not training super heavy right now, so fast it's fine. I kind of like it right now. We'll see if I keep doing it, but I am hungry, so I'm gonna be making some pancakes right now. This is my off-season version of the pancakes. I can make them taste a little bit better. And I'm gonna try it with this. This is our new Ithalit birthday cake protein. Super cool. I asked our one of our head team guys, John West, to make an Ithalit birthday cake protein a while ago and he's like oh we won't have enough time by your birthday and i'm like oh whatever who cares and they were actually planning on doing it and surprising me and then yesterday the day before my birthday today is my birthday happy birthday to me they surprised me with it so really cool surprise they put it together brought me out and did like confetti and all this cool shit and something really fun you know we're trying to build a really cool culture of the brand but also within the walls of our team and they exemplify it so very grateful for what we're doing and that being said, we're making pancakes with it. What did Courtney get you for your birthday? Courtney? Yeah. Nothing. She's not even here. Yeah. I'm going to be spending my night alone just and crying myself to sleep because Courtney left me on my birthday. Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. She actually got me some snowboard boots because my snowboard boots were breaking my feet. So that was actually very great. And then we're celebrating my birthday this weekend, I think, because she's actually out of town right now. But I told her she should go out of town. She did not. So typically in my off season, I used to do like 100, 120 grams of oats, but lately I've been doing 50 grams of oats and adding some birch benders. I don't know why I have keto friendly. I'm not keto, but it just, I don't know. But there's a bunch of other stuff in there that mix it up like a better pancake that make it thick and taste a little bit better. So I've been adding that instead of doing more oats and then egg shortage. I happen to snag some eggs, so hashtag grateful. And I don't know what to do with my life. I'm going to cut this up so it doesn't seem like an hour to make pancakes. Do one whole egg and then I do 260 grams of egg by say Normally I do 220, but that's all right. We'll survive. Way too much work to make a pancake. What? It was way too much it's work. It's not too much work at all. Look at how many fucking ingredients you have. And then I add some water because I like it thin. I don't know how many ingredients I have. There's like a few. Do you want good pancakes or do you want shit pancakes? I want IHOP pancakes. Well, you can't have it all, can we? Next, a scoop of birthday cake protein. This There's a lot of sprinkles in there too. There are actually a lot of sprinkles. You see them? Very beautiful. Very festive. This is my birthday cake today. Don't ask me how much of this to do. I don't know. I just put in like a few forkfuls. Because I suck. Normally I put, you guys know I put pumpkin in all my pancakes, but I think we're out of pumpkin right now. So we're gonna go with banana and see if it has the same effect. Dash of vanilla extract. And I just do this, these obviously are not required for them, but I put glutamine and fiber in my pancakes just for a little bit of gut health and a little fiber to help my digestion. 
Is that everything, Calvin? Yeah, we should that's put a more lot. Shit in it. Let's just do one more of these for to measure. One more scoop of birthday cake. That's a lot of protein. Oh, I just realized I'm gonna blend all the sprinkles up. That's sad. You can add some sprinkles afterwards. You realize my dumbass forgot? What? The fucking oats. <laughs> I'm stressed out when I'm on camera and I feel like I'm in a rush because I'm taking forever. <coughs> it's only been two minutes, so relax. Delicious. All right, other tip, preheat the shit out of your pans. I like my pans to be hot as fuck when they go on. Mm. Sorry, Tess, I know Courtney hates when I do that, but I want to make sure it's sizzling. Don't ask what. Oh, no birthday cake color at all. I don't know. I blended it all. Well, there's, uh, no, there's some, actually. I like to add frozen blueberries. I like to add chocolate chips, but maybe because it's my birthday, I'll put some in the other ones. Oh, it smells good. It smells like birthday cake. Smell birthday cake? Yeah. I was seconds away from burning that pancake. It's a little crispy, but you know, that's all right. Was that 12 pancakes? Not that many pancakes. All right, so I decided to splurge, and instead of doing blueberries in the second batch, I put uh, semi-sweet dark chocolate chips, no sugar added, from Hue, best chocolate ever, because it's my birthday, so living on the edge today. But I got a bunch of pancakes here. I have no idea what the macros are, so I'm gonna try and put those in my fitness pal and actually do macros on this full day of eating, because maybe it'll give me a base point to see what I'm eating right now, because I actually don't even know exactly what I'm eating right now. I'm just trying to get in X amount of protein throughout the day, so. Breakfast is served. I'm gonna eat that, drink some water. This is Calvin's breakfast. It's my snack Spicy actually. tomatillo potato chip. What'd you have for breakfast? Bagel? Yeah. Bagel and chips. I mean, I'm having pancakes with chocolate chips, so I can't really judge. But yeah, this is breakfast. Give a chow down and calculate the macros. There's nothing better than chocolate chip pancakes. This is what I always used to have when I was a kid. Chocolate chip pancakes. Favorite breakfast ever. Can't be beat. Can't show this till I eat it. The fuck is that? You'll see when it's time to eat it. It's not meal two yet. All right, but I did calculate my macros. So, it's approximately 700 calories, but I'll tell you exactly what it is because you guys are fiends. All right, so breakfast came up to 704 calories. 57 grams of carbs. 19 grams of fat. Oh, I normally put almond butter on my pancakes and I got so excited about the chocolate chips I forgot. <clears throat> Anyways, 72 grams of protein. So really high protein, good little breakfast. I like breaking my fast with a lot of protein in the morning. So pancakes is the way to do it. I'm gonna pack up my meals and then me and Calvin are gonna head in the office. We have a drop today at 12. You guys are gonna have missed it watching this. So no apologies if this is sold out, but it'll come back and suck because it tastes too damn good to be limited edition. But yeah, that's about it. I'll pack my lunch, we're gonna get out of here, and I'll see you guys for a meal number dose. All right, because you guys know I bitch about this long drive all the time, I like to bring snacks with me. So I'm getting my health in. I got some blueberries, blackberries, and an apple, and I'm going to snack on these while listening to some Joe Rogan and Jordan Peterson on the way to work, so peace out. So much suspense in a 24 hour period. That's why I like not leaving my house on my birthday. We got one more surprise for you. Oh boy. Play. Should I be worried about this one? The last one kind of scared me. Stand right there. You're right in front of you. See those? Which one's cake? And if you get it wrong, you can you throw it in your face? <laughs> sure. So I have to guess which one it is? You can have a hard start racing there. We said stop right there. <laughs> uh, one on the right. The one on the right is cake? Yeah, that you one. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> It's so eerie in here. <laughs> Don't hold a knife like what? that. What? You're gonna kill somebody. <laughs> you want me to hold that knife? Play it up, always. What? Play it up. What? Nope. I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm gonna ruin it if I it. You are. <laughs> you guys are all giving me weird looks like a little bit. I'm really nervous. And there's something inside there, too. It's not just cake. <laughs> this is very beautiful, though. Who made this? Did Sarah make this too? <laughs> 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 Got the lid off. 
Yeah, like that's not. Oh, you know, you can take a bite of this. It's actually not edible. Not yeah. edible. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually just a chunk of blast. It's not a cake at all. Now the bottom's all fake too. Ooh, it looks really good inside though. <laughs> it's confetti cake. <laughs> looks delicious. So the wrapper's not edible? Or is it? It's probably fond. It's probably fond. sugar. The cake looks good. <laughs> this is part of your full day of eating. Bring it in. Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> not bad. Try it. I like That's the cake part. Not bad, dude. Good. Seven out of ten? I like the cake part the best. I'm not a big ice cream guy. I refuse to let this go until we can cut it. God damn it. <laughs> Why me? Little did you know you were the one being surprised. <laughs> I knew something was sus, but I'd be like, why don't you go cut the cake? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Like> an asshole. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Really good news, and another reason to cut this cake, all 12 SKUs in all 4,000 Walmarts. Sheesh! No all 12. All 12 SKUs. Jesus all Christ. All That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they start making shit. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, okay. What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> Meal number two. Looks extremely I unappetizing. Can smell the mustard. So this is like a John West meal. It's a really plain meal. I have some in my tooth right now, so you can see it. My apologies, but super plain. This is actually a meal from MegaFit. I just put it in here because I wanted to add beans to it. Yes, I said beans. Corny orders these organic beans that come in glass. Not a can, not plastic, but in glass because they're organic and they're Courtney style beans. And I'm getting my fiber. In. So uh, from MegaFit, I have 180 grams of rice and 180 grams of chicken, so not a big meal. And then I added like, I don't know, a random amount of kidney beans into there. I don't know exactly how many. So this meal comes up to only 480 calories and like 45 grams of protein. So super small. I'm not eating a lot right now. I literally wasn't even probably getting in my protein goal like the last six weeks or so since Olympia. So I'm just slowly ramping my food back up. I don't need to go crazy and get fat right now. The goal is to just, as I'm getting back in the training, give myself more protein, more calories, so that as I'm progressing in training and progressing in food, instead of just going all into my food and getting fat. So I'm kind of slowly progressing, watching my body weight, watching my body fat, and going from there, while trying to get some good digestible fiber so I can go to the bathroom while and my gut is healthy. And honey mustard, because honey mustard is delicious. So meal number two, very basic. You Lunch. also have cake too. Sorry? You also have cake. Oh yeah, too. I had a piece of cake. Normally I wouldn't do that. And honestly, it kind of made me my stomach feel like a little like not hungry. So I'm eating this at 2 p.m. right now. But that's okay. It's my birthday, so I'm allowed to have some cake. I'm gonna eat this, and I'll see you guys for meal number three. So basically, we can push that core out. And lunch, they'll put like a little, little bit of a chocolate coating. Keep it down the line, and then just drop whatever you want, like peanuts, chips, sprinkles, like whatever. And then it goes through another coat, it coats the whole thing again, and then it hits a drizzler, and you could like drizzle the bar. So if that was the direction you want to go, I missed your meal. You're gonna turn into a prune now. I am a prune. <sighs> Dangerous. Bond streets coming up hot. What did you think of that Fruity Pebbles one? That one's really good. It's crack. Yeah, it's That's better good. than any Rice Krispie Treat ever in my life. So. That's really good. Crack. Ooh. That's delicious. Alright, meal number... What meal is this? Three? I think so. We've been all over the place today. And I'm very late on my meal right now. Normally I'm eating at like 3 or 4. It's 5.40. But this is the goat meal on Mega Fit, in my opinion. The Bumble. You guys used to see me make this my brown rice pasta, some ground beef and some pasta sauce, and they put some really good seasoning and stuff on it too, so it actually tastes really good. But this is my favorite meal right now. Pancakes with chocolate chips are pretty fire, but I don't normally have chocolate chips, so it's probably my favorite meal today. I don't have the exact macros. I'm actually gonna have to ask them for it because they customize it and make it a little bit bigger for me. So, yeah, brown rice pasta and beef. This is the goat. So, if you guys want to check out MegaFitMeals.com, I don't have every meal from here. I usually have two a day, five days a week. So, I just bring two to work, and it's a lot easier than meal prepping all the time. 
Sometimes I meal prep, but it's just so much easier having these and pulling them out of my fridge every day. So this is my go-to. This is the Bumble. This is literally Sea Bumble's bowl because it's the best. But I'm going to slowly eat this. I'm just really fucking starving right now. I'll probably finish when I get home. That's what's going on. And then I got to cram in two meals before bed because I want to go to bed early because I'm turning on my good sleep schedule. So, see you guys. I get home for meal four, which I'll actually cook because I'm not a lazy piece of shit. I cook some of my meals. It all lines up. Hopefully not. Uh, well, technically my travel starts in February. All right, so here we are with meal numero cuatro. And I calculated the last, oh, I pulled up the last meal from Megafit because they have all their stuff tracked. They even have all their stuff on my fitness pal. But I made it a little bit bigger because my meal's a little bit bigger. Um, the 720 calories and 48 grams of protein in that meal. So their meals actually have a really good amount of protein. A lot of other meal companies have like 25 grams and they're no bueno. But anyways, moving on to meal number four, as I said, I have 350 grams of raw weight yellow potato. I just like dice it up, throw it in the air fryer for like 15 minutes with some olive oil spray on it and it's good to go. I got some zucchini in there for a little bit of vegetable and a little bit of extra flavor, why not? And then I have ground turkey. And I combine 98% lean with 93% lean, two packages in one to make it 95% lean or whatever. And it just tastes better, it's not as dry. And that's 210 grams of that. I just, I'm honestly eating so random right now, but that's, I don't know exactly how much protein that, I think it's 50 grams of protein in there. 51.9 grams of protein. But for those that are like starting an off season, starting a plant, starting a diet for the first time, starting a track for the first time, Biggest tip to you I can say is just eat consistent for a while, don't even worry about it. And when you're on a consistent realm, track it and see what it's gonna be at. And that's probably your baseline. If you're fatter than you wanna be, eat less. If you're skinnier than you wanna be, eat more. And right now, I'm a little bit skinnier than I wanna be, so I'm gonna track this right now, see where I'm at, and then I'm gonna make sure I'm at least getting enough protein. I want like 260 grams of protein, I'm 250 right now, a little bit more than that. And then that's a bare minimum. And then I'm gonna up my calories from there. Probably start with carbs and then add some fats. I can just kind of put whatever I want to into the diet plan. But it's literally all you have to do. And you know, normally I'd be like starting a full day of eating and I'd be like, I need to eat 5,000 calories for the full day of eating just to look like I'm not skinny. But that's not how I actually eat. So I'm showing you guys the truth. I'm not eating a lot right now and I'm still gonna slowly put on weight, recover better and stay track of everything. So this is meal number four. I'm gonna wait for these potatoes to cool down because they're very hot. And then I'm gonna cover them in ketchup. Because ketchup is life. And it has been a long time since I've had ketchup in my full day of eating. So welcome back ketchup, I miss you. I'm combining it with sriracha. Ketchup's okay by the way. Whole Foods organic ketchup is the best ketchup ever, my favorite. But yeah, sriracha ketchup, see you guys later. You really showing all my pills? Yeah. All right, so I'm on a huge pill kick right now because I just finished the Olympia and I'm half natty sea bum right now, not full natty and I'm trying to get very healthy at the moment. So I am taking Lipid for my cholesterol, bring up my healthy HDL, and bring down my LDL. Taking liver, I am also have glutathione that I got a prescription for that I take twice a week to make sure my shit's all good. Omega-3, I take this all the time. I blast like 15 of those a day. I don't think you have to do that, but that's what I like to do. I'm taking K2D3, great for your heart, great for your bones, great for your immune system, all that good shit. Taking heart is great for overall health heart function, bergamot, also cholesterol and heart, turmeric for inflammation, and then thyroid support. Honestly, this is actually a lifesaver because when I was on prep, my thyroid went to shit, so I was on 10 micrograms of T3, not very much at all, but I wanted, don't wanna be on that long-term, so I came off and started taking the thyroid support from Revive, and it actually helped a lot. So yeah, getting my shit healthy right now. And then I got to do blood work next week or the week after, see where I'm at and then get healthier, do more blood work and then the off season officially <clears throat> begins. So this is what we're kicking with right now. Test levels at 10. Test levels at 10. No, they're 300 probably. <laughs> Maybe 400, I don't know. <coughs> I'll find out soon enough and I'll share it. But if I can throw these back, use code CBUM, reviveseps.com. Thank you.
All right, so Courtney's not here, but I'm gonna try and make a mug cake without any of the ingredients that Courtney normally makes for me with it. So this is gonna be risky, but we're gonna go for it. Also, I'm actually gonna do a video talking more about health stuff because I ran through those supplements right now, but that's not all for health. And I think it is a very important thing that I would like, that I focus on in my life and I would like to talk more about and just like keeping your body healthy, doing blood work, checking up, and you know, all the stuff that bodybuilding isn't healthy, you gotta counteract it the best you can in other ways. So I'll do a video talking about that another time. For now, I'm gonna try and make a mug cake. I got <clears throat> an egg in there and a tiny bit of egg whites already in there. It's like 60, 70 grams of egg whites. And then I use vegan protein because vegan protein is better for baking. There's just like a fat scoop in there. If it ever comes out. If you ever bake anything and you want to put protein in it, vegan just bakes better for whatever reason. Other shit gets kind of dry, so I've been doing that. And then I'm gonna use some baking flour, <laughs> gluten-free. I normally use uh, baked potato. Seems weird, but like mashed potato actually works really well in these mug cakes, what Courtney does, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna randomly put like 50 grams of this in it. I like almond flour too, but I also don't have any almond flour. So, you know, happy birthday to me. And then pumpkin is a huge key to all baking because it makes it moist and stops it from getting too dry. But the only way I make these is I literally just like put the egg in there and you have the same, the same amount of egg you want and then you, you put protein and then I just add flour until it's the consistency that I want it to be. And then you just throw it in the microwave, but it's easy as it goes. It's a weird ass texture. I think you're gonna botch this. I'm totally gonna botch this actually. I feel like it's too small. You need more egg white and flour. Ye of a little faith, Calvin. <coughs> I mean, Courtney's kind of the best at baking in general, so. Yeah, this isn't how she, this isn't normally what it looks like when she does it, is it? It's a fucking <laughs> bread dough. I have not given up hope yet. Let me get some more egg whites in there. I feel like egg whites is the last thing I should be putting in here, but it does look like I'm baking a fucking onion or something. It's too small. We normally do this with potato, but like, I'm not baking a potato with 10 fucking minutes, so. That looks better. Actually not that bad. Not gonna lie. I've never done this before, so. Ready for come get you. John Dutton. What? John Dutton. John Dutton's coming after you. You said rip this fucking kill you. All right, if you haven't realized by now, I'm a fucking fiend for chocolate chips, and I'm just living life on the edge right now. So these things, are these are the Hue ones. Yeah, these are Hue baking chips. I already talked about these with the pancakes, but throwing those in there, mixing it up, and then we are going to pray for the best. That is a weird texture, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know anymore. It was horrible. Could be worse. I don't know. <clears throat> Two minutes and 22 seconds because repeated numbers are good luck. Did I miss today? Yeah. You say yeah? Yeah. I'm ready for the roasting. <laughs> oh, it baked? I think I put it in there for too long. What the fuck is that? I don't know. It's really hot. It's fucking sourdough. I put it in there for too long. It's pretty good though, doesn't it? It's a cake if I ever saw one. It's not a mug cake anymore because it's in a bowl. It's like a bowl, bowl cake. cake. It's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. I don't know. That's sus. It's fire. That's good. Just gotta finish it off and it'll be perfect. It's really hot though. Let's throw some toppings on it. More flour? <laughs> just that's what the white stuff is on like donuts, right? It's just flour. The joke. People relax. You have to go to New Orleans and try a beignet. A what? A beignet. Oh, what's that? It's like the, it's like that French donut that like people stand on outside of like that one French restaurant in the in uh, New Orleans, and it's like a four-hour queue. New Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas? No. It's, if we go to New Orleans and we try a beignet, then I'll I'll finally try a, a frosty with fries. No, we're gonna eat frosty with fries and we do a full day of cheating. I 
keep like picturing Courtney rolling over in her grave, even though she's not dead. She's gonna die and then roll over in her grave from seeing how bad this mud cake is. That's literally what's gonna happen. Yeah, but it's not even mud cake anymore. Sorry? It's not mud cake anymore. It's a mud cake, alright? It's just a bowl. It's a mud cake. Shit. You're a bowl of shit. Got a little raspberries, so it's not too sweet. A little moisture in there, you know? And you add a little bit of granola on top. Like that. A little crunch. And voila. <laughs> this is far from a mug cake now. That's a mug cake. Why are you talking shit? Courtney doesn't put all that shit on Courtney her. Courtney literally cake. puts all that shit on it every night. What? Do you think I make that up? I'm not that creative. She does this every night. Not every night. Every night she makes one. If I had ice cream, that would be fire. Slap some ice cream on there, that would be literally 10 out of 10. See that? Almond butter. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at me, man? It's good. Look at that. That's pretty good. <clears throat> you like almond butter? Can make me go birthday cake? Yeah. Courtney got to this for the Olympia. I never used it. <coughs> go ahead, Those, the wax in the camera has toxins. You shouldn't put it in there. Look how aesthetic that is. Even I have to take a picture of that. That's a job well done. You ready? Make a wish. Good job. Thanks. Do you want to try it? Nope. <laughs> it's actually, I'm not going to lie, it's actually pretty good. It's like when it's something's covered in chocolate, granola, almond butter, and raspberries, it can't be bad. It's still hot, but it's really good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a fan. Let's get back to the full day meeting. It's actually really good. I'm impressed with myself. I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy eating that. You also missed, but I was snacking on some muffins while I was cooking that. Because, why not? But I had to add one of those in there. Anyways, to wrap up this full day of eating, total calories is currently at 3,508 calories. Might be a little bit off because I don't know exact measurements I put into this thing, but it's pretty damn close because I measured most of it. 384 grams of carbs, 96 grams of fat, and 283 grams of protein. So macros are pretty on point. Calories are pretty good right now. 3,500 more than I was eating, so I don't need to be going too overboard on it. And yeah, pancakes and a mud cake another day. So it's a beautiful day. and. I can't complain, but we still owe you guys a full day of cheating, so that's going to be coming to you guys soon. We're going to do a lot more full day of eating because off season's here and finding ways to implement good food, healthy food, and also hit your macros and stuff is something I've become more passionate about, eating it actually healthy. So we'll be doing more of those. Um, also, I've been wearing this all day, never even mentioned that we have a merch shop coming up. This is one of our new shirts. I actually love this shirt. I like long sleeves. The dream was intense. Because the dream was intent, it's not a dream at all. We're also dropping a custom Seabum Carhartt jacket that was made famous at the Olympia this year. A little B on the back, champion mentality on the, sorry, champion mentality on the back, B on the front. So this is the exact one I was wearing all Olympia. We are going to be selling a very limited edition of those February 16th or so. So stay tuned and yeah. Thank you guys for the full day of eating. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. Wait, when are you? What? When are you going into a surplus of calories? This is a surplus. You were eating like five thousand last year. Yeah, I was fat. Oh. I'm mean, trying to try not to get fat this year. I did last year worked. I put on a lot of muscle and I was strong as fuck. But no, I'm getting more muscle maturity now, so I don't think I need to push my off seasons as hard. So I'm gonna try and not get as fat this year. That's the goal. And I'm gonna try to do my cardio throughout the year and eat healthier, mug cakes all year, and be good to go. But. A surplus is just more than I used to eat. I was only eating 2,500 for like a while. So now I'm up to 3,500. So it's a surplus from where I was. And I was only at fucking like 1,800 at the end of prep. So the big surplus from that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm rambling and my cake's gonna get cold. So I'm gonna eat this and enjoy it. And see you guys next time. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out.